I get those first time dancers. I get those people who don't think they can dance and they connect. Welcome to the hip hop experience. This is our annual Scott Plains versus Vanuit PD. So can we acknowledge all of our officers today? Pass the mic, y'all. Pass the mic. I've been dancing since the age of four. I'm also a lawyer, so I'm actually an A type and a B type. I never stopped dancing, but I never thought you could make a career out of it. So I became a lawyer, but I always danced. So what happened was I actually lost feeling in both legs. Lyme's disease. I actually was bitten by nine ticks on five on this side and four on that side. It went undiagnosed and I actually became degenerative. I was semi-paralyzed basically. And then as I gained, regained feeling through integrative medicine, I had to make a decision. I realized that dance was more important to me than practicing law. And that's when I realized my passion and calling was dance. So then we flipped it. So I no longer was the attorney who danced. I'm the dancer who's an attorney, which is very different. hip-hop you can go to every continent and find someone who connects with the hip-hop culture so it's also a way of you know unifying the community connecting responding and building relationships